Hello everyone, it's Mal. Welcome to, slash welcome back to the Doll Mom Podcast. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22, because it's episode 22. It feels like a perfect night to talk about doll news. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this intro because it's episode 22. Um, I'm going to be brutally honest, I already filmed this intro, and as I was saving it, I was like, oh wait, this is episode 22. I have to redo the the intro because I have to get the Taylor Swift reference in because I love Taylor Swift. I'm such a Taylor Swift fan. So, I had to do it anyways, um, but it feels like a perfect night, day, slash whatever time you're listening to talk about doll news. Stuff crazy has happened within the past month. Oh my goodness, the past month or two. It's been insane, so we have to talk about it, okay? And then for our last topic, I thought it would be really fun to talk about what I asked for Christmas. I don't know if you all remember this or not, but when I was growing up, I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos, and all of my favorite YouTubers that I used to watch, they used to share what they asked for Christmas, which I don't even know if it was true. I know there was like a lot of brand deals back then, so maybe it wasn't even true and they were trying to promote their brand deals. I don't know. But anyways, um, I thought it would be really fun to do that because it kind of takes me down a trip down memory lane watching old content of how they would always post what they asked for Christmas and then after Christmas they would post what they got and so anyways I just thought it would be really fun so I feel without further ado since I'm really excited to get this episode started and it's been a while I'm so sorry let's get started I don't know about you, but I'm feeling like starting with doll news first. Sorry, I'll, I promise I'll stop. Okay, so the first doll brand that we're going to talk about today regarding doll news, there is so much to talk about. I feel like I'm going to miss so much. I'm so sorry if I leave stuff out. I just apologize. There's just so much that's happened. I feel like, okay, kind of off topic a little bit, but I feel like the most craziest months for like doll brands or like toy companies in general is like kind of September, a little bit of August, but mostly October, November, and December, because that's when we get a lot of of stuff, a lot of of new products, a lot of sales. My money loves to go out of my bank account then, a little bit more than usual. And then, well, I feel like July could be too, because it's like the time, like if you're like going to stores or like, I know Amazon has their big, don't they have their big Prime Day deals then? Or was it in June? I can't really remember. If you go to Target and Walmart, they start marking their toys down to like crazy prices in July and August. So I feel like maybe that's kind of like the start of it. Yeah, I would say that's the start of it, becoming all this craziness excitement happening. Okay, so we're going to talk about America Girl first because I have all their stuff pulled up. Most of all their stuff pulled up, I would like to say. So we got a ton of new releases from them this year. Like it was insane. Um, Yeah. But towards the end of the year, we had that iconic holiday collection came out. I love the mix and match stuff. It is so cute. I was really shocked that they honestly collaborated with something navy again because usually when we see mix and match collections, it's usually just like a one collaboration deal. We're done. So I'm just really excited that we did get another collaboration with them. I really hope that this means we get more collaborations with past collaborations like for example i loved the love shack fancy collection that was iconic it's so cute um yeah i just love love shack fancy (laughs) and so i'd really like to see them collaborate with them again um i'd also like to see another stony clover collection but i would also like them to to like come out again with like the old stuff that they came out with because i didn't get to complete my collection just because everything was happening. It was chaos. So going completely off topic again, I really wish they would come back out with the Stony Clover Lane, like the purses, the bags, okay? And they would pair it up with like the prints that they have for the water bottles and the stickers and the journals. Because think about that. If you gifted the bag with the water bottle journal and sticker set, how cute of like a gift set that would be. Like for marketing purposes, makes my heart happy. Like, oh my goodness. I really wish they would do that. Miracle Girl, if you're listening, which you're probably not, I'd love to see that. Anyways, moving on. Um, 
yeah, just the Christmas collection was just so cute. I love the holiday release. love the event calendar. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than nice things about it. Like, it was just, it was great. And the quality was really great, too, I thought. Um, they also came out with, like, the Trolls collaboration, which that sold out really fast. Oh, my gosh. I love the trunk that they came out with, too. That one was pretty cool. And then I think the biggest shocker, Girl of the Year being released, like, three months early super duper early it was it was fine i enjoyed her coming out early but i also really didn't like it that she came out early because i've always went to american girl store on new year's day or new year's eve like sometime around then and so um i was kind of really sad that you know we don't get that excitement anymore but i feel like it's fine because I really enjoyed um, getting to go to Dallas in October and plus it was like my birthday month and so it was it was fine like if the girl of the year wants my birthday month every year she can have it like no biggie like we can share like it's fine I really love Lila I think American Girl did such a good job with her I think she's such a stunning doll and I love her collection too um And it seemed to be working out for them that they released it early because if you recall, back in the Mattel's investor presentation, they announced that she was going to be released earlier um, so they can get ahead of the holiday sales. And it looks like that they accomplished that because a lot of stuff in her collection is back ordered to like February, March, April. Like, it's crazy. I think American Girl really had a great sales year um, regarding holiday sales because if you look on the website right now, a lot of things are back ordered for like months. Like, it is insane. Like, I think Kaya is back ordered till May. And that's just the doll. Like, it's it's insane, which I'm happy to see that stuff selling. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, I'm very proud of American Girl and I'm really happy to see them succeeding. I think another release that we should talk about that I think was a huge hit, in my opinion, I absolutely loved it, is the American Girl Barbie doll. Oh my goodness. This, I've always wanted this. I really wish they would have came out with it sooner, not gonna lie, with the Barbie movie. And I also wish that she didn't ship for like a year, but like it's fine. Like I just feel like it just builds up excitement and it's just like, so exciting. Anyways, um, I'm really glad that they did eventually make a American Girl Barbie because this just makes my heart happy. I'm someone who always played with dolls growing up before it was American Girl. I had my Barbies and I had my baby dolls. Um, but still while collecting American Girl dolls when I was little, I would play with my Barbies. I was a big Barbie Chelsea girl. I still have all my Barbies, um, and my doll houses. So, I just, I just love Barbie. I'm such a Barbie girl. So this made my childhood heart happy to see that I get to combine two of my favorite doll brands into one. So yeah, it was just so, so cute. She's so stunning. I do wish that she shipped before a year ago just because I'm someone who's very impatient. I like to have my dolls, but I just feel like it's just going to be so just exciting when she does come. I also wish that she shipped um, before then, and hopefully she will, because the date said that she would ship by November 2024, so me being a Swifty and decoding every single thing possible, by could mean that she ships before then, so I kind of hope that they do it in like little batches. Um, if they do, I really hope I get mine before February because I would really love to take her to the World of Barbie thing that is in Dallas right now and like take photos of her around. I think that'd just be so cute. So anyways, but she doesn't come before then. It's fine. We can plan a different photo shoot for her. No worries. So yeah, it's, she seemed to be a really big success. Um, she was released to the general public Friday, November 29th, I believe, and within hours, she sold out, or December 1st, I think, um, within hours to being released to the general public. She sold out both on Mattel Creations and on American Girl's website, so a really sad announcement that American Girl has made, 
is that American Girl Columbus will be closing on February 19th of 2024. Right now, everything is 20% off uh, plus 50% off on books. It's always so sad to me when I see news of American Girl store closing because I've lost my store. I lost two stores. Um, One hurt more than the other, not gonna lie, but um, it was still really sad and really depressing to see um, stores that are not even my store, you know, are not even close to me closing because I can relate to that, you know, like I went for the pain and hurt when American Girl Kansas City closed, which I'm not gonna cry, I promise, I'm not gonna cry. Um, so if anyone wants to talk about it or if everyone feels sad or needs to vent or anything, my DMs are always open. So we're going to move on because I don't want to make this episode really sad and really depressing because it's 22. We're happy. We're free, confused, lonely, happy at the same time. It's fine. Anyways, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is that American Girl has a sale right now and it's up to 60% off. Some of the stuff is 50% off, such as dolls accessories, clothing. So if you do have time before December 29th, I would look at it because there's some really good deals happening. I have to decide if I should order anything. I was saving my reward for this because they usually do something like this every single year towards the end of the year. They're trying to get rid of uh, stuff that is going into the archives, which I don't think any of this is. I, well, I don't know. I don't really know, but usually that's what happens. They try to get rid of stuff that they are going to be retiring soon. So, um, anyways, I would get it while you can, especially if it's on sale, but yeah, I have to decide if I'm going to order anything. It's tempting, but I know I should wait. I should save my money, but it's, it's so tempting. Okay, so next thing, American Girl Wise, American Girl Live wrapped up its final week. However, they still have one last date, and that is Arkansas on February 1st. No, wait, February 2nd. My bad. Don't know my own tour date. Um, I'm going to the February 2nd one. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, I got tickets. Like, I got them as soon as they went on sale. And I was so excited. I thought they were going to immediately sell out. They didn't. Um, I think they're still on sale. And even for Black Friday, they had like a, a deal where you get so much off. And I was like, dang, I should have waited. But it's it's fine. Like, you know me. I always jump at the chance. And I've never went to a American Girl like a musical. Like when they went on tour for, I think it was called American Girl Live still. Like back in, oh, when was it? 2019, I think it was. Um, I didn't go, um, because it was in Wichita, and it was on a Sunday night, and I had school the next day, we couldn't drive, like, it was, it was, yeah, anyways, I really regret not really persuading my parents into taking me then, but, you know, it's okay, it's, it's, it's fine, because I'm gonna get to see it, you know, I'm gonna get to see the show, I'm really excited to see it, I think it's gonna be great, um, and, yeah, they also have merch, they have shirts, and I think they have, like, bags. I really hope the shirts can fit me because I really want to wear a shirt. I really hope that they come out with more merch. And here's the thing. I feel like they're going to announce more dates because conspiracy theory with Mal. Okay. This is me being delusional and me being crazy. Okay. I really think they're going to announce more dates because why is Arkansas the only date in February? Like it would make sense, right? To announce more dates because Arkansas is next year. It's in February. So I feel like they're going to add more dates after Arkansas. I don't really know. Plus they said that they would, that additional cities and dates would be announced soon, but they didn't give when. So I feel like they would announce it like within maybe like January and stuff. If they come, Arkansas is like three hours away, by the way. So everything's like three hours away from me. It's so weird. Like American Girl stuff wise, interesting. Anyways, but if they come closer to me, like, I would go see them again in Kansas City. Like, no, no joke. Like, I would, like, even if, like, I haven't even seen the show yet, and I would go see it again, just because I love American Girl. Like, I honestly thought about getting, um, for the Arkansas date, they have a 2 p.m. show and a 7 p.m. show. I got tickets for the 2 p.m. show, but honestly, I thought about seeing it again at 7 p.m., but my mom and dad were like, no, like, we need to drive home, and so that's why I didn't. But anyways, if it was closer, I'd be seeing it both times. 
Um, just because it's American Girl. What can I say? I'm so dedicated. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, I'm so excited for it. I'm going with my friend Cassie at American Girl Kristen 09, and she's, we're both so excited. Oh, my gosh. And we have, like, seats together, and it's like, ah, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so much fun. I am going to make a YouTube video about it, too, so. We also, okay, update on American Girl Dallas. So for those of you who don't know, which a lot of people don't know still, which I was like shocked by because there's so many news articles about it, but American Girl Dallas is moving to a new location next year. Ah, I'm so excited. Yeah, just so much excitement. I'm so excited for them. Um, so I did go to Dallas over Black Friday weekend and I did get to um I stopped by the construction site so they have like posters up and like that says American Girl coming in early 2024 and like there's windows and you could kind of drive by and see inside so it looks like they have like spoiler alert it looks like they have like walls up and stuff inside I wanted to go back over like um New Year's to see like what it looks like because I want to see like how much stuff can change within a month um but I am going to Columbus then so I don't think I will get to go um maybe you know maybe I could squeeze it in sometime before they open I don't know I really want to go to the grand opening like I will literally be so sad if I don't get to go like I will cry I cried that I missed LA. We're not going to talk about that. But I did. I am going to be really sad if I don't get to go. I really hope I do get to go. Um, I will try everything I can to drive seven hours to go to a great opening. Because I've never been to one and I really want to go to one. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just it's just something I've always wanted to do. I know. Like, I'm going on and on about a great opening. But it's just I've always wanted to go to one. And I feel like it's just going to be magical because it's Dallas. It's like at two levels and it's just, it, from what the construction looks like, it looks like it's going to be awesome. Like the store is going to be insane. So I'm, I'm going to cry because I've just, <laughs> I just really want to go to the great opening and I just, I love American Girl Dallas. Like I think it's such a nice store. I was really sad to find out that they were moving because the store that they're at now, it's amazing. It's gorgeous. So Anyways, I know the new store is going to just be more amazing and more gorgeous. I mean, it sounds like it's going to be more amazing and more gorgeous because they're getting a girl and doll hair salon. They're getting a full service cafe bistro. They're getting a personal shopping party rooms. Like, I really hope I get to go. Fingers crossed that we don't miss this one. And plus, all of the news articles that I've been reading, because I've been reading up with this. I've been keeping up. Um, It's kind of bad. But anyways, um... Like, I've literally been on Google refreshing, like, every single day. Oh, new article coming out about the new Dallas store. Let's see. <laughs> Anyways, um, but all the articles I've been reading, they have been calling it the new flagship store. So, is Dallas officially going to be a flagship store for American Girl? I don't know. I hope so, because that'd be so cool. Okay, moving on to another exciting doll brand, Ruby Red Fashion Friends. Let's go, girl. Oh, my goodness. They had so many new, like, sales happening in December, and I think they still have free shipping going on. Don't quote me on that, though. I'm not really sure. I can't. I didn't really look at the date when it ended, but they had so many things happening for them. Oh, my goodness. So many new dolls. They're holiday dolls. <gasps> gorgeous. Absolutely insanely gorgeous, Okay. Words can't describe how stunning those dolls are. I ordered um, Camilla because I just really love pink. Okay, don't get me wrong. Lavender is so pretty. She's so stunning too. But um, I did order Camilla. I just love her. She is the most stunningest thing I've ever laid my eyes on. Her dress, gorgeous. The doll herself, gorgeous. Like, oh my goodness. And plus, like, she was limited. She's, like, limited edition. So, like, Ruby Red Fashion Friends, for those of you who are not aware, if you didn't listen to the last episode, which you should because it was great, um, they, like, release these limited edition dolls and they're, like, limited to, like, a certain, like, number. They, I think they made, I think it was either 200 or 400. I can't really remember. I don't have her next to me at the moment. I don't have her, like, certificate next to me. And I honestly, when I ordered her, I forgot that they even did that. I forgot that she was limited edition. So, yeah, it's so cool to see that they do that. I think that's, like, one of the most coolest things about their brand is their limited edition dolls. And plus, they're so detailed. 
Okay, next up, oh my goodness, there were so many new, new stuff from Ruby Red Fashion Friends. They had special edition Ruby Red Fashion Friends fluffies. They're like little, like, stuff. I don't want to call them stuffed animals because they're not stuffed animals, but, like, they're stuffed, like, dolls, if that makes sense. And then we had, like, our fan edition doll come out, the fan club. Oh my goodness, she was gorgeous. We had major sales. And then we had the announcement of their new doll named William. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. And he has like a new fate scroll. Oh, just Ruby Red Fashion Friends. It's just killing it. And then we had like um, our latest fan edition doll, Ava. Like, oh my gosh, just so much stuff came from Ruby Red Fashion Friends. And it was just, it was amazing. I enjoyed every single bit of it. It was so much fun getting to see all their new excitement and getting to see other people's photos. Like, I just love Ruby Red Fashion Friends. Like, I really do. They are just that doll company. They really are. For our last segment, I thought it would be the most funnest thing in the world to talk about what I asked for for Christmas. I have my Christmas list pulled up on my phone and we're just going to go down through it. I'm going to share a couple of few things I asked. Um, I hope you would um, send me a list of different things that you asked for and stuff that you're just really hoping to get because I would love to hear about it. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas or any other holiday that happens in December, uh, let me know what things that you would like to add to your doll collection because I think that would just be really fun to talk about as well. Okay, so the big thing that I would like for Christmas, which my mom and dad already told me no. I asked for it last year too. But you know, my delusional self is just like, I'm not taking no for an answer. Um, I'm still putting it on my list is the American Girl Chris Kids Craft, excuse me, dollhouse and closet. I need to explain it because I already have a dollhouse. I know. So why do I need another one? Because it's American Girl that's that's really I mean it's it's mostly it's mostly that but also because um it just looks really cute I love all like the little sound effects like the doorbell and like there's like a like a like alarm system like a security wise and I was like oh my gosh like that's like like, that's just like really high tech like that's so cool and yeah it just it just looks really neat and I would just I would like to play with it so you know there's that um but they did tell me no, and they were like, you better put something else on there um, for backup because we are not getting that. And I was like, okay. So my backup item is, um, well, there's two options. I really like both, so it's whatever they, I'm getting surprised because I have no idea. Um, so the first backup option is Mary Ellen's Diner. Oh my goodness. I love Mary Ellen's Diner, okay? Like, they redid it in 2019, and since they redid it, I have wanted it so bad like it is so cute and um yeah and here's the thing too I have so what I use because for those of you who know I do have technically a Mary Ellen's diner in the doll room it's the our generation one which I love the our generation run don't get me wrong super super cute however I would like to replace it because I did have a situation happen to where it needs to be like I'm kind of scared to put any dolls in it right now um I did put some dolls in it though um I'm just watching to see what happens so the situation I had I dressed Mary Ellen in her, this was not the, this is not the pajamas that they have out right now. It was like her old retired pajamas. I dressed her in that and I put her in the diner. Well, her shoes, I don't know what happened. Like I, I'm still trying to figure this out. Like how could this really happen? The shoes to that outfit, well, I guess I should call her slippers, but they're really just shoes. Like anyways, they could go with any other outfit. They, like, got stuck to the floor of the Our Generation Diner, and I had to literally pull them off, and now there's, like, black marks in, like, red little, like, they're not marks, they're just, like, dots um, on the bottom of the shoes from the floor of the Our Generation Diner. So, I'm a little bit scared 
to put dolls in there because I don't want my shoes to get ruined like that. So I moved Mary Ellen to her Airstream because I don't want any of Mary Ellen's outfits to get ruined again. So yeah, it was really sad for me because I really love our Generations Diner. I love all the accessories it comes with and I just think it's such a cute piece. So, but yeah, I was really sad and I'm still sad that it happened, but it's okay. Um, the other thing, the backup item that I have is the American Girl Express train. Um, I really want this only because, okay, two reasons. I really, American Girl's never came out with a train, like a train cart. And so I'm always, I'm always for them coming out with new stuff. So I was really excited to see that they were coming out with a train. Second thing. I thought it would be just the most adorablest thing in the world if I turned it into the Polar Express for Christmas. Like, how adorable. I just, I can't. I can't. Anyways, we're moving on because that that would be adorable. Okay, so the next couple of few things I asked for are from Claudie's collection. Claudie's Christmas accessories, of course, and Claudie's winter coat. American Girl released new items for Claudie back in August, or was it September? I can't really remember. I can't think. Uh, I think it was in August. I think it was the end of August. Um, they released new items. And so... Um, I need those new items. I haven't gotten them yet. So I asked for two of them from my mom and dad. And then I asked for the other two from my um, grandma and grandpa. So hopefully I get those items. It's okay if I don't. Um, It's really fine. I can get them sometime else. But yeah, I would really like those um, because they're just, they're cute. And I have every single thing in Claudia's collection except for her bed and those new items that they released. So I'm doing pretty good. I've always wanted to complete a doll historical collection. And I think I am almost getting there okay and now moving on to isabel and nikki stuff because i'd like some things from them so i really want to make them a bench room a, b- a bench room what just came out of my mouth i have no idea anyways i really want to um make them a bedroom in the doll room and if you seen the doll room you know i don't have room but um you heard it here first i'm making room <laughs> So I asked for their beds and for their computer slash desk set. I really doubt I'm going to get it just because I've already asked for some other amazing things, but it would be, it would be nice to have that stuff. Um, I would really enjoy it. So yeah, I would like to say this list is like an option list. Um, I don't expect to get everything on this list. It's mostly for options and it's me being like, oh my gosh, if I could get stuff for Christmas. This is, this is what, like, these are my, these are your choices. It's like a choice list. I would like to say that because I can't limit myself because then what's the point of being like excited, you know, like on Christmas, you know, like I, I like to be surprised sometimes. I do like to figure out surprises though. Um, you know, it's like a choice list. I'd like to say that. So another choice on my list is Mary. I should have said that at the beginning, you know, like this is a choice list. Um, it's mostly me being delusional. Yeah, anyways, moving on. Um, next thing I have is Marilyn's sled. I really like her sled, and then I would love to have her sledding outfit. Those are, like, the two pieces I've always meant to get. Somehow never meant to get, like, never, never ended up getting them, so... So last year, my mom got me a couple few retired pieces that I've always wanted, and I didn't even realize that she was going to get them for me. It was so funny because all throughout the Christmas season, something would come up and I'd be like, oh yeah, I would like love to have that. Like, it was like, I was like giving her like hints, but like I wasn't, like I didn't even know that I was giving her hints about it. So it was really funny. And like going up to Christmas morning, like for example, last year when I, TJ Maxx and Marshalls always got in, their um truly me dolls they got in a ton of retired dolls and so i would always go in and i'd be like okay guys we're looking for i'm looking for um 53 and 57 those are our two dolls we're looking for 53 and 57 and my mom founded me got me a 53 for christmas and i was like oh my gosh like wow (laughs) like i didn't even yeah Anyways, so this year I made her like a little retired list. And this is, once again, choices, choices, options. I'm not going to be sad if I get, if I, if I don't get these, like, 
you know, you know. So first thing I put is Nikki ski gear. This is like girl of the year 2007. Okay, Nikki ski ski gear. Okay. Um, I recently got girl of the year 2007 Nikki Fleming. I got her uh, ski outfit from a flea market in Dallas. My favorite flea market to shop at. Love it. But I would really like to complete her outfit with her ski gear. So that's why I asked for that. I also asked for Kristen's cats because I really like to build up my Kristen collection and then I also asked for her um holiday gown and then I asked for the American girl bitty baby girl twin of the African-American set I already have the boy I got the boy the benefit sale didn't end up getting her sister her sister his sister wasn't there so I'd really like to have his sister for Christmas also said any retired truly me doll that I don't have and then I put in my list of the dolls that I do not have I really want it. I really, 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 really want, and I really hope that she gets me, is Courtney's TV and fitness accessories. I want these so bad because her TV is adorable. Everything in that set is adorable. And also because I'm so close with completing my Courtney collection. All I need is that and the retired pink cropped jacket. And then I will be complete. Like, I... I'm going to cry because I've never been this close to completing American Girl Extra Girl collections. I completed Girl of the Year collections, okay? No problem. But with Extra Girl collections, there's just so many pieces and so many parts and they're out for a lot longer. So, of course, you have more things to the collection and I've, I just never completed a collection. I'm going to be honest. I would love to complete them all. I don't think I will. But hey, you can't blame a girl for trying and for dreaming and yeah. We're, go- we're a girl with goals, you know? And then the next thing I asked for is the American Girl Juice Bar. This goes with the coffee shop. I would really love Juice Bar so I can put it with my coffee shop because I did end up getting the American Girl Coffee Shop when it was on sale um, last year in April. So, I mean, I would love to come, like, yeah, put it with that. And then I also asked for Isabelle's and Nikki's, the twins, uh, bedroom accessories because since I asked for their beds and for the computer and since I really want to make them a room and I found space to make them a room, I got to get their bedroom accessories, right? So that is my crazy delusional list. Once again, it's choices. I don't expect to get everything off this list. I'm going to be honest. I'm really excited to see what I do get on Christmas because, you know, it's always fun to be surprised when you give a list of options and choices I would say the things that I would really want to have this Christmas would be Courtney's TV and probably the American Girl Bitty Twin Girl. That's, that's my two things. Like, if I get those things, I'm set for life. Like, I'm set for this Christmas. I'm good. Um, any other things would be greatly appreciated and I would take in with a happy heart. know about you i said i would stop oh my gosh i'm so sorry um (laughs) we have reached the end of this episode i hope you all enjoyed it um i hope my christmas segment of this episode wasn't too bratty i always get really scared um talking about things that i want because i don't want to come off being a brat or like being like she shouldn't be asking for that like she has so much stuff already And I do have so much stuff and I'm so thankful for every single thing that I got, um, that I have, I should say. Um, like I'm really am at the end of the day, happy with what I have and I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed for everything. Um, and I would not trade anything for the world. Like I, I'm literally going to cry because like I'm getting teary eyed. Um, I'm so emotional too right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry because I'm just really thankful and I'm really glad with everything that I that I have and it just makes my heart happy and um, my collection is where I want it that even if I don't get anything off my Christmas list and if I don't get any presents at all at Christmas it's fine because I staple with my collection and I really enjoy it and it makes me happy so I'm such a lucky girl and I'm very lucky to have parents and grandparents and family members who support my doll collecting um you know even if it's not through buying me gifts that are doll related you know if it's just you know 
watching my content or whatever. Like I'm very lucky that I do have people who support my doll collecting and I'm very thankful and lucky that I do have um, people in my life who can't afford to buy me presents. So, um, and even if they can't, like I, like it's fine. Like, like I said, like my collection is perfect right now. Like I'm satisfied, I'm happy with it and I love it. Like I'm in love with it. So at the end of the day, I feel like the reason people should collect something or people should have a collection or you know anything like that it should be because it makes you happy and you get enjoy from it and right now my collection makes me happy and it brings me joy anyways that's my rant of this episode (laughs) um I hope you all enjoy listening to this episode just like always, I enjoy making it. I always have fun making my podcast, whether if I have someone on, if I don't. It's still a good good vibe. Like, it's it's good. Like, I feel like I just have a lot of fun um, doing it, and I hope you guys have a um, enjoy listening to it and stuff like that. So, thanks for, watching, thanks for watching. Oh my goodness, we're not watching anything. Thanks for listening to this episode, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed it, as always. Uh, my name's Mal. I'm Dollies and Rainbows on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest. I'm pretty much everywhere, if we're going to be honest. I'm pretty, I'm not hard to find either because it's the same name on every single platform, Dollies and Rainbows. So if you haven't checked me out yet, uh, feel free to do so. Dom Mom Podcast, which is what you're listening to right now, is on Instagram and Facebook, Dom Mom Podcast. You know, that's that's the at. It's at Doll Mom Podcast. I'm also on TikTok as well, um, at Doll Mom Podcast. So check that out as well um, if you haven't done so already. I think that's it. I think we're going to wrap this episode up now. Um, I really enjoyed it. I just want to thank you so much for um, listening to it and for listening to my podcast, past episodes. It always means the world to me having support from you guys regarding it. So... I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.